Hi, I'm Mary Chip with Bentley Systems. Today I want to show you the next step in the tower model I have been working on with an architect, Tapani Tallow. This is the second video in this series. In the first video, we used Bentley's generative components to create the basic geometry for the footprint of the tower. Now we will extend that geometry vertically in the form of a conceptual massing or stacking model. We want to again create a parametric model in which we can control the number of floors, the distribution of the low, mid, and high rise floors, and the location of the sky lobbies, along with the basic floor to floor height. So let's unwind this and step through it step by step. So we started by using GC to set up a series of planes that would represent the floors of the tower. These floors are controlled by the sliders for typical floor to floor heights and the number of floors. So we have the typical floor to floor height and then three sets of floors, which will basically be the low, the mid, and the high rise floors, and then sky lobbies in between them. Next, I imported the tower geometry model. And that gives us the base geometry for the stacking model. And that shows up as a node on our graph. And we can see all that geometry that we had tagged as output model geometry shows up here on the node. And we can link to that. I then created four curves to represent the skin of the building based on the curves that were in the tower geometry model. You can see how it's linked to that node. Then I created the planes that are controlled by the sliders. I then copy the skin curves to each floor or each floor plane. and then project those curves to create surfaces to represent each floor of the building. So that was the low rise floors. Now we're doing the sky lobby, the first sky lobby. You note the sky lobby is set back. That was to allow for some gardens at those floors. And then we have the mid rise floors. and then the second sky lobby. Now for the high rise floors, Mr. Tallow wanted to add an opportunity to design the top of the tower. So we added a few more sliders to allow for the building to either twist or taper or both from this point up. And if we go Look at the control panel, you see we have this angle spire, so that controls the twist, this angle. So we can go from no twist to a more significant twist. And we can also taper the tower, so we could have no taper. or quite a bit of taper. So this creates the basic stacking for the tower. This can of course be modified and manipulated here to create multiple iterations and what if scenarios. So we could go from a tower of 150 floors with really no twist or no taper to it, a straight up just simple setbacks at the sky lobbies. Or we could begin to manipulate the top of that a little bit. So taper it a bit and then maybe twist it a bit. And of course, we can modify the number of floors. And 
ahead and save that as a second option. Now, in addition to creating a conceptual stacking model, this script can also be used to create the building and floor nodes that set up the tower floors in the Open Buildings Designer Floor Manager. By using the same sliders to set up these nodes, then the Floor Manager will be modified along with the stacking model, so that this stacking model is actually controlling the floor elevation for the entire Open Buildings work set. So we're adding a tower building node and then a series of floor nodes set up the low rise, mid rise, high rise floors and sky lobby, as well as the roof. And if I go here and open the floor manager, so if we take a look at the floor manager, we'll see there's the tower building that we created. And underneath there we have our lobby floor, all the low rise floors as a group. Should have 60 floors here. And then the sky lobby. And then the mid rise floors should have another 60 floors here, up to 120. And then the sky lobby. And then we should have 50 high rise floors bringing us to 170. There we go. In the next session, we'll get into a little more detail on the design. As I mentioned, the designer wants to create outdoor gardens on various floors of the building. So here in the stacking model, we created setbacks at the sky lobby floors, but he wants more gardens spread throughout all the floors. So we will model each floor with multiple variations that can be assembled in different ways to create garden setbacks all the way up the tower. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.